So in today's video, we're gonna need a Dremel. It doesn't have to be the flex shaft. We need a drill. It doesn't need to be a DeWalt drill. It doesn't need to be a cordless drill. We need some silverware, new or old. Flooring. Wire or fishing string. We need uh, some Dremel stuff in here. We need a lighter just because. And we need some toilet paper. For all the babies that are gonna cry saying I shouldn't make a friggin' craft video. Guess what? Here's a craft video. But I think the best idea is not to do it in this room. But I think it's a good idea to take this downstairs into our art room because there may be just some sparks flying. Okay, hello everybody and welcome to Carving Fusion. But this is Carving Fusion Crafts, spelt with a Z. Um, I've always liked this, the sound of wind chimes. Um, I grew up with it with my grandparents. My mom's side of the grandparents and my dad's side of the grandparents both had wind chimes. So, so the other day when I was delivering uh, wood carving to this lady's house, yes, I delivered my chainsaw carvings, um, I noticed that she had a wind chime that sounded, there was a little bit of a wind that day, it sounded super neat. And I looked over and I noticed that it was an old silverware wind chime. So I said, well, well, by Jesus, I'm going to have to make one of those. Um, I, I love the sound of the forks. These are, I got these at the thrift store. I think like for five bucks for all these. So I did, you guys, you can Google or YouTube, whatever you want to do to, uh, see how to make these that's how i learned so i guess we're just gonna get to the point and get this done so we got this old silverware here this is going to be the first step this is the simple one uh, we got this wire you could use fishing line whatever you want to use i'm just doing this real simple i'm not going to be sharing this on my social media because if people like it they'll want to they'll want to buy them off me and i just this is it for me right so we got this here we got this uh drill with a little tiny metal working drill bit and for all the all the pros out there we got some oil here we'll dip the drill bit in the oil and we'll um drill the freaking things yeah i guess so you guess so okay so it would be pretty smart to have a hole punch to um punch a little marker on there before you use your drill because then the drill bit will catch that so actually i happen to have one here would you look at that you guys could use whatever you want, a nail or a star head screwdriver or whatever works for you. Um, so let's see where we're going to put this. And this isn't even a hole punch. It's something. But I don't know. Get it centered up. Give it a tap. Yeah, that's not a hole punch. So anyways, let's uh, drill this um, stuff in here. Let's drill a hole. Yep. Without breaking the drill bit. Oh, it likes dipping in that oil. Okay, so there's one one down. Five million to go. <laughs> you can see here, I got them all, the holes screwed. Um, this fork, I got it screwed at the back here. And I got a, a extra screw in here because that's going to hold your middle hanging piece thing. So yeah, so what we're going to do now is bend these forks. Like um, we're going to bend it like, uh, bend it this way without stabbing yourself. This way. And then one. This way helps to have uh, needle nose pliers probably. Yeah, that's a lot better. And you don't want to break them off like that just happened. Uh, anyways. Okay, so you can see here we got the three pronged fork. So now what we want to do is we want to curl these ends up a little bit. Kind of like that. And... Uh, Uh, 
Okay. So now it's like octopus tentacles. So what we want to do now is we want to get some of this wire. You can use fishing line. This is just stuff I got at Canadian Tire. We want to wire from here, put wire from here to this fork down here. Make sense? So yeah, it's, um, this is pretty thin wire, but it should last a year or two. Couple of years anyways. Twist it around. You know, typical craft stuff. Okay, so I got all the wires on here now. Now I'll uh, decide how far I want to make um, this nightmare thing hang down. The spoons and forks hang down from here, if that makes any sense. And I cut them all the same length. Now I'll just wrap the wire around in the holes here. And we'll go outside, hang her up, see what kind of noise she makes. See how I'm a professional at spinning that uh, fork? Making that wire nice and tight inside there. See that? It's just perfect. One down, 20 to go. Okay, so there you go. You see it's all together. I got the uh, wire hanging on this uh, fork so I can hang it up and uh, let's take this outside see how fruity it is. Yeah, I'd say pretty fruity. Come on. Okay, so that's part one of fruity wind chimes silverware. So now, when I was at my carving tent, I got these spoons. I flattened them down with my uh, hammer. I got my ballpoint hammer and made these little dents in there on all of them. That's with a ballpoint hammer, just sitting, hitting it a million times. Okay, so we got these. So these are going to be little fish, I think. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to drill holes in here. So we can hang them like this, put the wire through there. We'll cut the mouse on them. And uh, I don't know about the tails, but we'll see. Yep. And repeat the process. So what I'm going to do is drill a hole up here. And then I'll drill a hole down here too, so it will look like that's his little eye. Maybe I'll get a bigger drill bit for the eye, eye down here. So anyways, carry on. Oh, this is, these are new spoons. They're a lot harder than that uh, other spoons I was drilling through. Boy. Um, obviously, it would be a lot easier if you had a drill press to do this. Because in that way, you might not go through the wood into your desk. Like I just did. But anyways, carry on, carry on. Okay, so we got all our eyes cut and you guys can use a saw, whatever you want, how you want to cut this and how you want to cut this mouth, you can use a saw. Um, so, but I got my Dremel hooked up and I got a little zip cut disc. I'm just going to zip this a bit and um, it will kind of look like a mouth. I don't know. I just seen this on YouTube. So, yep, we got four little happy fish. Okay, so I did make the eyes a little bit bigger for the uh, holes for the eyes there. Um, so I just want to show you guys because I'm not going to film. I'm going to go outside to this because there might be some sparks. This is the Dremel zip cut disc. It's a quick release one. They usually come in the kits when you buy a Dremel. You get this silly little kit. So yeah, I'm just going to take this outside and uh, cut straight across here to give, make it look like it has a mouth. I might give a little bit of a slit on the tail too. See if I can kind of bend it over so one goes this way and one goes that way. I don't know. Yep. Okay, so I got all the um, mouse slitted out. Okay, there's the eye. So eye mouth. Here it looks kind of like a little fish. I took a little some little bottom jaw off. And I also did the slit in these tails. I don't know if this is going to work or if this cheap metal from these newer spoons is going to break off. But I thought I'd see if I can give it a little flare out with my uh, needle nose. So let's see if this works. If it 
We'll even bend. Oh. So I'm kind of almost done with this. These uh, silverware. Here, let's do this. There you go. And we'll just do it there too. I don't know. Whatever. So yeah, this is what I tried to do. But now it looks like there's a mouth of an octopus going this way or something with big lips. I don't know. Carry on though. You got to keep carrying on. Got to carry on. Yep. Okay, so like I said, I'm pretty well done with these silly little fish. I'm done probably even before I started I think but um so now I got this silly little fruity thing from the uh thrift store see it's got little uh butterflies on there what's there? there's a dragonfly and there's a fruity little butterfly guys I'm not insulting anybody when I say the word fruity too it's just fruity like I just I just mean okay well here's a watermelon butterfly here's a cantaloupe butterfly here is a strawberry um, dragonfly. Yep. So what I'm going to do now, see 50 cents. The Ladner uh, thrift store has the cheapest prices. This is a candle holder or something. So I see this thing can pull. See that thing in there? I'm going to uh, pull this through here. And I'm going to let the fish hang off this thing. I'll be giving this piece to my stepdad and uh, stepmom. And I'd even be surprised if they even want it. Okay, so let's do this. Push it through there. Do this. Make it like a spring or something. How are we going to get this one? These needle nose players are absolutely garbage. My thumb is better needle nose players than these garbage things. It would help to have a vice too. Well, I just don't have a vice here. There we go. Come on. Anyways, I'll get this done and I'll be back. Okay, so I finally got it. Now I can hang it from here, right? See? I'll hang the fish off here. So anyways, um, I guess I don't need to show you guys me doing the wiring. But uh, carry on. Okay, everybody. So I got everything wired up. We'll take this outside a minute and see how it works. I just want to say something. Um, you know, I did have some uh, longer spoons. I flattened them out and I left the, the things um, longer. I had four of them. But there's this fellow on YouTube. He makes the spoon spoon ends like uh, whale tails. So let's see here if you guys can see it. So it'll kind of be like this, whatever. And you would cut this section out and it will look like a whale tail kind of like thing, right? So can you guys see that? Let's do a better, better example here, Jordy. Jeez. Okay, so it's center line and we'll just do a couple movements here. And yeah, you just make it more movement there. Cut this section out, then shape it with your Dremel. Or if you got one of those little Ben Studio on the Lake Jewer saws, you can cut it out. That's what the fellow does. He has it in a vise. So yeah, I just wasn't into this enough to um, do these. But just to show you guys, you can do them. I think it would be pretty neat if you get some good shape in here. All right, let's take this outside and give it the fruit test. That's all. Guys, remember that uh, moss that I got from Vancouver Island? That's all. Oh yeah, my parents are going to want this for sure.
Okay, everybody, so you can see in the video that I tore this down, I did end up uh, flattening these spoons, um, like Larry said I should do from the beginning. Larry Dibbs out there, Vancouver Island. Uh, how you doing, Larry? And um, it just didn't, I wasn't satisfied with this. And you know, this, the look of like um, forks and spoons hanging off another spork, fork that looks like a squid is really not my type of thing when you come to th when I come to think of it, right? But I'm just doing this stuff just to open my mind and see if I can do it and see if it works, see if I like it. How are you going to know if you don't try it? You know, how, how are you going to know if you do not try it? I'm not talking about this. I'm talking about with anything. You have to do it. So I thought, realistically, I thought those little fish out there were going to be just way too fruity for me. But actually, the little fish are pretty neat because it's like a little school of fish. So that thing that I had, the cattle holder that's really silver, I'm going to paint that black. And I'm going to let those fish hang. I'm going to keep them. I like them. I'd much rather have the fish than these. So anyways, hope you guys are all good. And how are you going to know if you don't um, try new things, right? So carving fusion craft. Huh? Carving fusion craft. Over and out. Carry on. Here's the rock one that I made last year those mirrors that those that girl sent me one more thing I want to say about these guys you could use fishing lures on here so they spin better and also if you use fishing line up here instead of the wire they might swing around a bit better